This is the ME110 project video looking at the manufacturing processes involved in a computer keyboard by CJ, Curtis, and Steven. There are many parts to the keyboard. The majority of the parts of the keyboard are made by injection molding. The main components would consist of the top and bottom of the keyboard. The internals and the keys all show signs of injection molding. Looking at the top and bottom, we can see ex extensive ribbing for rigidity, ejector pins locations throughout the part, and the date code and cavity numbers embedded into the part. Other signs of ejection molding is the consistent wall thickness of the parts, especially in the key caps, and also the parting line that runs along the width of these parts. Along the parting line, we can feel the draft angles which further prove the injection molding process to allow the part to release from the mold. There are other molded parts which include silicone rubber from liquid injection molding, as well as some rubber grommets from compression molding. Flash can be seen and felt along the edges of these parts. The sheet metal processes that were involved in the manufacturing of these parts were bending and die cutting. The bends are indicated by a uniform wall thickness throughout the piece. The die cutting is evident because of a slight concavity around the holes that were cut, as well as a flat surface on the opposite side of the holes, indicating pressure on one side to cut the sheet metal. An alternative process for these components could be die casting. However, the production rate as well as cost would be higher when compared to sheet metal processing. This is why we reached the conclusion that these components were manufactured through bending and die cutting. Two forms of waste soldering include through hole and surface mounting, which are used to mount several different components onto circuit boards. Components that are surface mounted include capacitors, integrated circuits, and resistors. Compl components that are through Hole mounted include resistors, connectors, and LEDs. An alternative process that can be used is reflow soldering. However, due to cost and production rate, wave soldering is the most likely process of choice. In conclusion, many parts in the keyboard share the same processes. We wanted to focus on the three main processes for the ten most important parts. The three main processes that were used in, to create the keyboard were injection molding, sheet metal bending with die cutting, and surface mounted electrical components with wave flow soldering. While the main components were the top and bottom cover, key caps, mounting brackets, key code processor, silicone dome switches, and rubber grommets.